street sign that keeps being stolen in Highland Heights is costing taxpayers hundreds of dollars. Nine on your side's TJ Parker spoke with city leaders who are trying to do something to prevent these thieves from striking again. Highland Heights city leaders say enough is enough to people stealing the high street sign. Tonight, they're trying to figure out a way to prevent people from doing that. Not real fond of paying taxes for thieves. David LaMandela lives off High Street and says every year, every other Halloween at least, someone tries stealing the sign. It's pretty <laughs> obvious why the sign's getting stolen. Highland Heights Public Works Supervisor Steve Lehman says just last week, someone drove into the sign, knocking it over, and took off with it. I don't know if it's a uh, you know, joke or they want the high street because they're getting high and want to have a street to uh, name after it. He says in the past 10 years, the sign has been stolen between three to four times and believes there's been many more attempts to take it. He says each time the sign's replaced, it's costing the city hundreds. We can spend the taxpayer's money in better ways in replacing the same sign. He brought up the issue at city council, suggesting putting more bolts on the sign to make it more difficult to pull out of the ground. I find it humorous. You know, I can understand, but... You know, they should maybe find cardboard signs or something and replace them weekly. David has his own ideas to stop the thieves. And they should change the name of the street. <laughs> Steve says Highland Heights police are still looking for whoever may have stolen the sign over the weekend. If you have any information, you're asked to give police a call. In Highland Heights, I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.